We're talking about five cheap sewing tools and we're starting now. It's Elizabeth from ElizabethMadeThis.com helping you sew something creative. That's up your alley. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So today I thought I would talk about five cheap sewing tools. So my idea here is to give you some ideas for things that might be lying around your house, things that you can pick up at the hardware store or at another store for under, under a couple bucks that are really great things for you to use in your sewing. These are gonna help you get really nice results without having to spend a whole lot of money. And I always think that it's a great idea in general to just use what you have around your house. So here's some ideas of five cheap sewing tools that you can find hanging around your house. Number one, binder clips. Binder clips are awesome little things. I know sometimes a lot of quilters love to use those wonder clips and those are really great too. But just plain old, plain old regular binder clips are a great little tool that you can use. I know that I really love them when I'm working with leather. They hold, they hold the edges of the leather together really, really nicely without causing any kind of damage to the fabric itself. And anytime you're working with a really thick layers of fabric, like if you're making bags, Clips like these can be really super, super helpful. So raid your office drawer and see what you see what you find. See if you can find some binder clips that'll use them. So when you go to sew with them, all you need to do is just clip them around the edge of your deal and then when you sew, just take them off. They're a great alternative to pins and they are really great when you're working with those big, thick layers. And the next thing that I wanna talk about is Velcro rollers. If you're thinking Velcro rollers, what the heck am I needing to do with a Velcro roller? I actually have this cache of Velcro rollers from this time after my sons were born when my hair kind of lost a little bit of curl. I'm blaming on hormones and some bad haircuts. So I do have a bunch of Velcro rollers. But anyway, Velcro rollers are really nice to use as uh, little, little lint rollers for your thread trash. So basically all you do is just, when you've got a, a pile of thread trash, either from your serger or that kind of accumulates on your floor, just roll it right across. I've seen people even put them on little mini rollers that you use for like primer and uh, add, make, it, make it so it can roll on its own, which is kind of fun. But anyway, Velcro rollers, a nice quick little thing that you can use to help pick up, pick up thread trash in your sewing room. Next is a favorite, but also comes with a little bit of a caution. But let's talk drinking straws. So drinking straws are actually really helpful, really helpful kind of thing. They are a nice alternative to one of my favorite favorite tools in the sewing room at all time called the turn it all tubes. So you might have some boba straws like these guys hanging around. My kids love love drinking boba so they, we have a, we have a store that I can pick them up pretty pretty easily nearby so we've always got boba, hand, boba straws on hand. Straws are great anytime you need to turn a tube so like I think of a spaghetti strap or if you're making belts any kind of thing where you where you need to turn or, or like make a belt loop or something like that. So anytime you need to turn any kind of a tube, straws are really awesome tools. Basically all you do is you stick your straw into the end of your little tube and then you use some kind of a pokey device, uh, chopsticks are great, anything like that. And then you just stick it through the straw and ta-da, it comes out really easy. You can even do that with, with a metal drinking straw too. These are kind of nice because they're a little bit more sturdy than, than disposable straws like this like this one. I've noticed with the disposable straws that they tend to wear out after a couple of uses. If you're careful with them, you can get several uses out of them. If you want to upgrade, go ahead go ahead and try a metal drinking straw and I've I've even seen metal boa straws. So that's kind of nice. And there's also there's also heavy duty plastic ones that are actually made for for sewing kind of things and those are really nice and I will and I reviewed those in my another favorite sewing tools video. So I will go ahead and put that in the description too so you can check those out and see what you think. But if you need to turn something and you can't find your tubes, just go grab yourself a straw and they work just as well. <laughs> another thing that's really great to have around your sewing room is wood molding. What the heck, wood molding, what is this about? Okay, so this one comes with a story. I went to a sewing expo one time and I spent way too much money on a chunk of wood molding. 
I'm kind of mad at myself that I did that. I just wasn't thinking at the time. I just thought, oh, it's so nice. And the, the lady was so nice. And I, I don't feel bad about supporting a small business. But when I got home and started thinking about it, I was like, you know what? I probably could have gone to Home Depot and picked up a chunk of this for a lot less money than I paid for it, <laughs> which is true. So it turns out it's just a couple of dollars. You can buy a big, huge section of this stuff. This is, this is half round molding. You can see it's like a little like a little half moon shaped and what's awesome about this is that it makes a great pressing surface for really long seams like on pants I would cut this down to about one foot sections so hey you can pick up you can pick up a section of this of this molding and cut it up for all your sewing friends right and then just you know kind of sand on, sand down the edges really nice that's good so to use it all you need to do is pop it into your seam this is just the end of some jeans that I, I sighed. So we'll just pretend that it's a seam that we've made. And then you just press over it. What's really nice about it is that the wood is gonna hold that steam really nice and then it's the curved surface is gonna make a really, really nice surface to press that seam open and flat. And it also kind of protects from some from getting getting marks from pressing. You know, sometimes you, pr you press on a flat surface and you, Go over to the right side and then there's like little 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 marks on there it's not so nice so the curved surface is great for for preventing that kind of seam shine that you get sometimes on linen and some other kinds of fabrics so half round wood molding great thing the last thing i want to talk about is a basic toothpick what am i going to use a toothpick for let's talk about it. Here I have a piece of, of wool and I'm going to pretend that this is a coat of some sort and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the toothpick over my button and I'm going to stitch my button around the toothpick and what this is going to do is that when I, t when I finish sewing my button and I kind of wiggle my toothpick out of it, it's going to give some slack on the button itself so that when I go to wear it, it's going to look really nice. And it's also gonna kind of keep it a little bit more secure, which doesn't, it's kind of, it, it doesn't make quite a little bit of sense. You think, oh man, if it's really tight and close there, it's gonna be more secure. Actually, this is, this is one place where it's not. We need that little tiny bit of ease that that toothpick is gonna build into, into sewing around the button so that it can fit through that thick fabric without stressing the thread too much. So, toothpicks, yay toothpicks. So those are five cheap sewing tools that you might find around your house. I have a full list of 15 cheap sewing tools that is on my website at elizabethmadethis.com. So go ahead and check that out. I love you to be able to find some of those cheap and readily available sewing tools that are gonna help you get great results in your sewing room. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends and I will see you in another video. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you had a great time watching this five cheap sewing tools video. There's lots of other cool stuff happening here and Elizabeth made this, so go check it out and I will see you in another video. Bye.